and welcome back to the undisputed career mode this is episode eight let's get right into it i already got a fight scheduled and you might see something new on this channel it's a face cam what's going on everybody here we go this is the fight a 66 overall angelo rivera six rounds and i'm ready to go out here and put the whoop on them you know what i'm saying let's go out here and get this victory we'll do two media trainings to get started very fast and very quick get those out the way and let's get right to training. We're gonna be working our guard, our power punching, and our defense. But let's see, health regeneration definitely going up. Let's do some jump rope. I really want some movement speed, and I also want to get our counter punching accuracy and agility up as well. Let's do some. Let's do some yoga. We'll do a recovery. We'll train again. I'm just trying to get through this as quick as possible because I know me personally, I want to get out there and get to fighting. Health regeneration. We'll upgrade that as well. Let's do a little recovery. We'll have one more training camp and then we'll do one more recovery and it'll be fight time. Let's see though. I'm thinking punch speed, left hand power. Let's do punch speed and then do some recovery. All right, 100% charged up, 105 on the fight ready and 161 in weight and ready to fight. I'll see everybody out there when it's time to whoop this opponent. And here we are at Santiago's gym. It's that time for another great boxing match. Angelo Rivera versus Lucas Dimitri. A win today could spell disaster for Rivera's career. He is 39 years old, 39 years young, whatever you wanna call him. I might retire him tonight. That's how I'm feeling, and it's looking like that as well. The so a glove tap. Beautiful. Now this is my first time with the face cam, so if you see me look over here, I'm looking at myself in the face cam, making sure everything's all good, but let's get to the fight. All right, Rivera, he's gonna be an inside fighter for sure, a shorter stature, and we're looking for a knockout today. Let's keep using that jab. One, two. Beautiful. As long as we keep moving, we got this victory in the books. He's a 60-something. I didn't really expect to be facing a fighter of this level, especially at this point in my career. But, I mean, I'm going to take any opportunity that I can to get a victory. Beautiful combination. I'm just going to keep looking to work that jab. Jab, left hand with the right as well. Three-punch combination landing. And he came back with his own. But, I mean, we have to keep fighting on our P's and Q's and get this victory today. Let's go. Keep moving forward, beautiful. Rotate. I gotta rotate away from them power punches. I mean, I am a southpaw, but honestly, this Roy Jones Jr. stance does not fight that great out of the southpaw position. Even though I know he switched it up in real life, I'm just probably gonna stay in orthodox right now, at least to put some work on this guy. Oh, it could be a first round knockout. There we go, beautiful, that easy. Hey, I don't make these things up. I don't make these things up. Beautiful triple jab, left hook to the body, and the right hook almost finished him. I don't think he would have seen his kids after that one. And look at his shoes. His feet are coming out of his shoes. Undisputed. Get this man some different boxing shoes, please. Let's see Angelo Rivera though, if he can get up. We'll find out if he will. Count of five, six. Oh my goodness, a seven count in the first round. This man is definitely in bad shape. I'm looking for a quick knockout here. Let's go. Run up, run up, run up. Beautiful. Another drop, and we're looking for the finish here today. I feel good. I mean, look at that. Beautiful left hook to the body. Starched him. Let's see that again. Throwing that left hook in a beautiful, beautiful placement. I'm pretty sure that was right on that liver, and he's going to be feeling that one tomorrow for sure. Let's see if he'll get up here, though. Last time, it was a count of six, and we'll see if he'll make it past that count here. Eight count. We'll take it. Next time he gets dropped, he's done. I can almost guarantee it. I'm looking for a second round KO now at this point. Hopefully, I'll get it. All right, first round in the books. A great first round. Here in the second round, and we are looking for that flush KO, baby. Got him on a kickstand already. I got to watch out for his left hook. That is his best punch. And he does 10% more damage with it as well. Good body punch. There we go. Good jab left hand. I mean, that hook is just so money. Yeah, he's done. I slept him right there. He's done. Oh, my goodness. He took a nap. That right hand flustered him in the left hook. And then the uppercut. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Left hand clipped him. Right hand got him. And the left hand clips him as long. With oh, my God. Look at that, left hook, right hook, left hand, and then the uppercut clips him in the jaw as well. A beautiful combination, and Lucas Dimitri is looking for another victory here today. I don't think he's getting up. I do not think he's getting up. And I'm glad we got this finish out the way very fast, because I'm looking to face Patrick Recall 
after this match. And there it is, a KO in the second round. Lucas Dimitri is back in town for sure. Let's see it though. We'll see exactly what the judges' scorecards were, what the clip was. Second round KO, a 10-7 they gave me, and a beautiful clip, 58%, only needing 45 punches to get the job done tonight. 11 landed for my opponent, and I'll see everybody when it's time for the fight rewards. Some measly earnings, $3,899, 155 fame, along with 10 staff XP. Let's see exactly what that means for our rankings. WBC up one, IBF up two, WBO up two, and the Steel City Interactive SCI ranking up by two as well. All right, an A ranking, finally, A accuracy, A damage management, A result, D opponent rank, B offense, and B defense. Finally, man, we're doing some great progression and we're looking to get victories going forward. All right, and it is that time. I'm pretty sure I know who I wanna go against, but it looks like we have to rehire the coach. I'm gonna renew the contract. I mean, he's fighting pretty good for us. We just got the knockout under his tutelage. So let's keep moving forward and negotiate this next contract. Okay, I'm feeling ready and here we go. I'm thinking there's only one fight that I wanna go with. I mean, he probably is ranked below me, but we still need that knockout victory. And finally, look at this. We can fight at new venues. St. Andrew's Sporting Club, Brooklyn Hall, Compu Box Academy, and the Grand Theater. I'm going to Brooklyn Hall. It's a big fight, big rematch, and I'm looking for a 50-50 split. Come on, he really wanted to take 30 from me? He's gonna give me 10% of that cut? Yo, that's crazy. No rematch, we're gonna do 12 weeks. Oh, I see. The more, the more training you do, the more money it takes out of your purse. Got it, got it. I'm also gonna put that fight promotion down to probably, let's do 6% and we'll do three media activities. There we go, negotiated and it's accepted. 13,000 for the win, 700 fame gain if we get this victory. Let's get the training though. I'm gonna go to St. Andrews. I feel really good about this one. Three times XP for my training, along with 50% more money from the media. We'll do a sports blog, probably three times in a row. Just get that out of the way. And we'll also do a fan meet and greet. Now we have eight weeks or nine weeks, I think, to pretty much get the training and getting our stats upgraded. For block health, I want punch speed. That's probably my main thing right now. Also, my counter punching now, 75, beautiful. Let's look for the jab, get that up a little bit. Offensive sparring, here we go. Speed bag, speed routine. I'm gonna do a little recovery, hit that speed bag again. We'll do speed bag one more time. We'll recover and we'll recover again. I got no issues doing double recovery. And look at that, I'm overweight for this fight. I should have done a dietary change, and this is not what you want to be going against Patrick Ricard. I'll see everybody out there, hopefully with the victory, and hopefully with the knockout. It's that time. We hear talk about this being a rivalry match, and it is for sure. Lucas Dimitri's only loss to Patrick Ricard. He has to come in here and get this knockout. That's the only way that he can avenge himself. And look at this. A walkout. About time we get some respect on our name. And a beautiful walk out here from Lucas Dimitri with this entourage and crew. He's looking to become 16 and one. I'm looking for a knockout victory against Patrick Recall. And I mean, who really knows what this fight has in store? It could be eight rounds. It could be five like last time, or it could be three rounds. Seven KOs, 35 wins and 14 losses. I'm ready. I didn't even know they had introductions. So let's see it. I'm actually gonna skip. I just want to get to the fight. Let's do it. This is kind of hard. You know who it is. Let's go. White trunks trimmed with black. Okay, now nah, something's up with that. They got to work on that because they were showing me introducing him. So, all right, let's go. Patrick Recall, we know his game plan. Oh, my goodness. Keep backing up. Keep backing up. Beautiful. I'm looking to use those hooks today. That's my main goal. Hit him with those punches and look for a knockdown. I'm also looking for those body punches as well. Oh, a bit of lag. There we go, there we go. And he's throwing them hooks like crazy. Step off that center line, beautiful. I mean, as long as we can keep moving our feet and keep rotating, do not get hit by this man, we'll win the fight. I mean, we got some power in these hands as well. Don't sleep on these hands. Lucas Dimitri is looking for a KO to avenge that loss that he took against Mr. Rakol. I'm ready though. Yeah, that's a good question. How many am I? Get in, get out. I'm gonna fight on the back foot. There we go. Yeah. He don't like that one. Come on. 
I gotta get my up my power upgraded. Oh my gosh, I almost got flatlined. Guard up, guard up, Frank. There we go. Beautiful. That should have put him out though. These hooks are landing. Four hooks. It's just the speed right now. Patrick Recall must have regressed. Last time we saw him fight, he was a beast. Knocked us out in the fifth round. And we're looking for a knockout in the first. Oh! Beautiful. Come on. Lucy Goosey. Yup. Shake that head a little bit. I like it. Beautiful. Come on. Oh! Good punch to the body. Jab. Left hand. Right hand. One to the body. But he's backing up. Beautiful. Looking for the jab and a beautiful one. Look at that. Three punch combination to end the first round. And Patrick Recall is going down in this second one. I'm pretty confident in my abilities right now. And I'm looking for a victory. There we go. Ah! Good slip. Whoa, beautiful slip. Come on. Wow, good body punch. He's definitely throwing them in right now. And I gotta be aware of those. There we go. Whew. Left hook and the right hook missing his face. But if one lands, it's bad news for him. Step off that center line. Let's do it. Oh, no! Of course, man. Wow. Get up. I've had a lot of complaints internally about this game but I mean there's nothing that I can complain about about that knockdown he just caught me clean and let's look for one of our own I'm locked in now I don't want to get knocked down because if I do it's pretty much over Oof. recalls fighting different now that he's knocked me down he wants to be a little bit more patient I see yeah right you see that He's getting loose. Beautiful jab. Oh, come on, get back. He tried to clinch me up too. Look at that. Cut on the face of Lucas Dimitri now. And a good left hand, maybe. Oh! A flustering body hook. It's not looking good for Luke. Oh my goodness, I cannot take another loss to this man. There we go. Yeah, I'm putting in combinations now. That's all I want to see is combinations. If we can keep putting work on this guy, we're going to get this victory. That first round obviously was not mine. Or the second round, excuse me. The first round was mine. Second round was not. And I'm pretty sure this third round is going to be pivotal going forward. Beautiful. Yup. I'm at the fight with all my might here. Oh my gosh. Good combination. I tried to land that left right hook, but I only landed the right. I'll take it though. Let's switch southpaw. Good combination as well. Working that jab, moving forward. Let's put the pressure on him a little bit. Switch stance. Let's go, let's go. He hasn't really been able to do anything when I was in Southpaw though, so I might go back to that. It looked pretty successful. But I mean, look at the blood on those trunks of Lucas Dimitri right now. It's not looking good. And I'm definitely gonna need a knockdown here. Let's go. It is. That body straight is money. If I can drop him with that body straight, I'm taking it. Good left hand as well. Jab, left hook is money right now. Throw a little bit more, Frank. Come on. Ah! Oh my gosh. That left hook to the body is money for recall right now. Step off that center line. Look to block the body when we're far away. I like it. He's going body. Good switch stance. Catch him with something, Frank. It's going to have to be a beautiful slip. There we go. Oh. There we go. Get in that guard. Get in that guard and get out. I got to look for the easy punches, and I got to look for those that are going to be successful. If they're there, I'm taking it. If it's not, I won't even force it. I'm looking for what he has open. There we go. Good three-punch combination. This is my round. It's even. I can get dropped, win all the rounds, and still get the victory. We got to think smart here. We got to play strategically, and we got to know what we got to do going forward. I got to keep that pressure, and I got to get this victory. Cleaning up the blood on my shorts. Thank you, coach, and I'm open once again, man. Crazy. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, my gosh, man. Holy crap, I'm face down. Not many 
people would have predicted it, but we got a knockout victory. A knockout victory. That's wow. That's a knockout victory. That is somebody saying, I'm here. I'm wow. Here. Yeah, you can see it in my face. I'm disgusted. I'm never fighting that dude again. Never. Unless we get to the top and we fight him for the third time. I got flushed out twice by that guy. Another huge loss on the career of Lucas Dimitri. And this is not what you want to see from a fighter that you need to be the GOAT. 4,800 gained and 351 fame XP lost. Zero staff XP, no rankings. I'm losing ranking and that's an E. I got nothing to recover. All right, everybody. Just want to say, if you enjoyed, drop a like down below. Subscribe for more uploads. Also, let me know what y'all thought of this face cam. I'm definitely going to be keeping it from now on. So hopefully y'all can get used to it. Just want to say peace out, everybody, and stay safe, y'all.